Hey guys, this is Marie and I'm back with another video. And this video is going to be my Betta Fish and Hermit Crab Supplies update. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be showing you and talking a little bit about everything that I have picked up for the last two years for my Hermit Crabs and Betta Fish. So here we go. So as you guys can see the title of this video, I decided to do a update for you guys. It's been a very long time since I made my first video and showing you guys all of my supplies for hermit crabs and betta fish. And at that time, I had just started getting into betta fish and didn't have a lot of supplies at that time. And also, I didn't have a lot of supplies for my hermit crabs. But it's been about two years now and I have collected a lot more stuff for each of them so I decided to go ahead and just do an update video and show you everything that I have collected and maybe inside this video you guys might see stuff that you might be interested in getting for your common crabs or beta fish and also maybe you guys already have some of this stuff that you will see in this video so let's go ahead and get into it so as you guys can see here this is where I keep all my supplies this is just a fish tank stand that has one of my 10 gallon tanks on it it's just an all black stand that looks like this and then this has like the little door right here and then it opens up and it shows everything that I have it just has that middle rack right there for the top and then it just has the regular bottom on the bottom for me to put more stuff on it's a decent size for me right now but down in the future i hope to have a bigger cabinet with more supplies into it but right now this works for me and i absolutely love it because it's very neat and organized and that is my type of style so this is what everything i have as you guys can see so i'm just going to go into detail and show you everything that i've gotten so on the top shelf and by the way, on the left side is all of my hermit crab stuff, and all the stuff on the right side is all of my beta fish stuff. So on the top shelf, you will see two water bottles, and those are for my hermit crabs. One is for fresh water, and the other one is for salt water. And I usually pick those up for Dollar Tree at Dollar Tree for a dollar, or I usually get them maybe at Walmart if I'm there for maybe like 98 cent to a dollar. So I don't spend no more than a dollar for those water bottles. So moving on to the hermit crab food, I'll go ahead and show you what's in this bin. This is a Dollar Tree bin. I got this at Dollar Tree and I absolutely love it because it's plastic and very organizing and it's easy and it's a perfect size for this little section up here and I absolutely love it and then also it's a dry eraser thing so you can actually write on it and erase whatever you want to put on there so I absolutely love that now in this bin is where I keep all of my hermit crab food and here I have these bags with hermit crab food in it and these are from hermit crab patch now I used to keep them inside a bag but I wanted to keep them more clean and neat and more organized and also more fresher so I picked these up at Dollar Tree these are just cute little Dollar Tree bin containers and I absolutely love them because you get three for a dollar and it's the perfect size for hermit crab food or you can even use these for beta fish food if you wanted to also but I absolutely love these because it's a perfect size for me so and then moving on is I got some more roasted almonds to fill up the container when I get low so that is what that looks like. So this one is my hermit crab patch food. And this is what their food looks like inside. And then moving on is the almonds. And that is what I have in there. And then the next little container is their cranberries. And then the next thing is their walnuts. So this is the foods that I have been feeding them. And I keep in the containers to keep them nice and fresh. And that is what... Uh, this looks like so go ahead and put this back on the shelf and then I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have on the next bin this is the next bin it's the same size bin it's from Dollar Tree and this is where I keep all of my beta fish food I don't have a lot I just have a little bit this food right here in these containers are actually flakes and these are for my white cloud fish. So I do not feed these for my beta fish. These are just for the white clouds. And I have two big containers. I got these actually on Amazon.com and I think they were only $4.99. So it's a good price and a good size for $4.99. And then moving on, I have the Omega One 
betta fish pellets and then the next thing i have the omega-1 blood worms and then i also have the geographic uh, betta fish uh, pellets also so that is what those look like so i don't have a lot for that but it is good enough for right now and it holds me off for a little while now moving on to this side is where I have all of my little cups that I have recently gotten when I got my betta fish. These are all the betta fish I have had for the last maybe two years. And I just kept their cups because it, you guys can use these pretty much for anything. If you're cleaning out your betta fish tanks, you can put your betta fish back in there. Or if you need it for anything else, you have them. And I think they're just... A good, um, a good thing to have just you can use them pretty much for anything. So I keep them just to remind me of what, how many betta fish I've had and also what type of betta fish I had. And then on this is just these um, little plastic containers and these are from PetSmart. And I think I got these for when I had gotten hermit crabs in the past and I just kept these just in case I need them. So I just keep them over there with the rest of the containers but that is what that looks like so this is my top shelf this is what I have everything on the top shelf so that is what that looks like now moving on to the bottom shelf we're gonna go ahead and show you what is in the middle first so this is just a decoration that I have gotten at Walmart for my betta fish it's just the three little um, barrels I think they're called and it's just three of them and it was pretty cute and I kept that one. And then the next thing I got in a while back was this ceramic um, vase, I want to say. And it has like two holes on each side. And it's for the betta fish. And I have gotten this at Petco. And it's pretty cute. It's a nice little decoration to have for your betta fish. Moving on to the next thing is these containers. These containers are also at Walmart and it's the same thing as these but just a little bit bigger and you can also write on them too if you wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out and show you what is in this bin first. And I got these bins very overloaded so there's a lot of stuff in there. So we're gonna go ahead and, and then these are the containers that I showed you up there. And I just have two extra ones because, like I said, there's a three-pack of them. So this is what they look like in the three-pack. So I just have two extra. So if I ever get more food for hermit crabs, I will have those. And then here is their dish that I use for um, their cranberries and for their almonds and other food like that. And then here is their Instant Ocean salt water that I use. And I got this at hermitcrabpatch.com. And then this is just a coconut little hut for the hermit crabs. I just haven't used this in a while, but I have it just in case I wanted to put it in there. And then this is just an old toothbrush that I use when I clean out their tank. I usually scrub their cave because it gets very dirty. And it's easier to use this to scrub their cave. And then here is just a coconut climbing wall that I have bought in a while back but I still haven't put it in the tank but hopefully down the road I will get that in there. The next thing I got is oh and these are just little um strip things for this for whenever I put it in there. And I just got some duct tape and this is just for the screen and the duct tape to keep the humidity in so I just keep that in there. And then here is some hermit crab moss, terrarium moss that I use for the hermit crabs. And then here is actually a shell um, measure that I got on um, hermitcrabpatch.com a very long time ago. It's been a while since um, I've gotten this. And this helps you measure your hermit crab shell to see how big it is and if you need to go any bigger than that. So that is what that is for. And then these are just little plants that I've gotten on Amazon.com. And I can't remember how much these were, but they were no, I think they were less than $10. And I got two more packs of these. There's a pack in this one, and there's a pack in this one. So I actually got four of them. So I got two extra ones just in case for backups. 
And then on the bottom is just more of these velvet clip things. And then I just kept these shelves that I had on a previous video a long time ago when I made a video about painted shelves. I had to keep those, so that's what that is. If you hear that noise in the background, that's just one of my mom's birds. So just try to ignore that. But that is the hermit crab bin. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw everything back in here real quick. So I can move on to the next bin for you guys. Okay. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put that back in there. And now moving on to the... Oh, one more thing. I forgot these. This is just a small bin that has all of my hermit crab shells in it. And I have a lot of hermit crab shells that I've collected over the past year. But these are all shells that I've collected on Amazon.com. So that is all of my shell collection so far. So it's been pretty good. And I just keep them in this container. So we'll go ahead and just put that back in there. Now we'll go ahead and move on to this container. And this container is the baby fish container. Okay. This one is over low too, so there's a lot of stuff in here. Alright, so the very first thing I have is this little plastic plant. It's very soft. It will not hurt the beta fish. It's very soft and I absolutely love it because it has like a hint of blue and purple on one side and it has the green on the other side. The next thing I got is the Natural Geographic plant that I absolutely love. I got three of these and they're all green like a hint of purple or pink on top. The next thing is these filters that I have gotten. I have a lot of those. I keep them on stock as much as I can. And these I get actually at Walmart. And then here's what it looks like outside of the bag. The next I got is this aquarium salt for the beta fish that helps them make sure their gills are functioning good and it keeps them very help healthy and happy. The next thing I got is this prom conditioner, and I absolutely love this stuff. This is the best stuff I have ever gotten. And then I also got some stress coat. I really don't use this anymore. I used to use this first, and then I switched over to the prime. And then the next thing I got is just this little decoration that is like a little flower bowl, and it has holes on each side, and it's pink. And then I also got a blue one that's already in the tank. And then this I got on Amazon. This is just food for snails when I had snails at that time. And then the last couple of things is this net. I don't use this for the hermit, um, hermit crabs or the beta fish. I use this for my white cloud fish when I had to take them out of the tank. And the last thing I got is these decorations last year for Christmas time. So hopefully I'll be using these for this year for Christmas to put them inside their tanks. This is just a Christmas tree. Then we got a sign that says Merry Fishness. And then we have a Santa Claus. So that is pretty much everything. And then the last thing I got is just a little container with extra rocks in it in case I need them. So that is pretty much everything. So we're gonna go ahead and throw everything back in here very quickly and I can just show you guys so you guys can see it one more time while I'm doing it in case you guys see something that you guys would be interested in getting all right that is everything Let's go ahead and put this container back in put these back in here also Keep them right there. All right, so that is all of my beta fish and hermit crab supplies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.